Hello, welcome to what we hope will be our last virtual concert. We can't wait to see you back in person next year to watch our students perform live. Nevertheless, they have been working very hard and we are excited to share their performances with you. Welcome to our spring concert. We love sharing our music with you. Although, let's never have to agree to do a virtual concert again, okay? We are going to begin our virtual concert with the sixth grade beginning band. They have come so far in one short year, especially considering our virtual start. Back in September, I was learning how to put my instrument together and I was making some interesting sounds. Now I can play 20 different notes with all kinds of rhythms. We have been learning different styles too. In our portion of the concert, you will hear lush harmonies, catchy melodies, and accented articulation. Please enjoy the sixth grade band playing our first piece, Chorale in E-flat major. <laughs> official piece of sheet music where all the instruments play different parts. We also got to have our first full rehearsal to make the recording. We shared footage from that rehearsal on our Facebook page. Give the Pattonville Heights band page a like to see more clips, pictures, and info from the band classroom. We love this piece and we hope you do too. Please enjoy Defender of Time by Rob Grice.
remember in the, at the end of fifth grade where all the band people came and I didn't know how to play the flute. I think it's crazy that I came from the beginning of the year and I know how to hold the instrument to now learning how to play a one to two minute song. I can't believe that I knew nothing at the beginning of the year and now I know 24 notes on this thing. I didn't know how to play an instrument at the beginning of the year and now I know how to play the trumpet. I can't believe that I've learned all of the notes so far. I've also learned what it's like to have balance and uh, tuning. If they don't do the right tuning, then the song's gonna go whack. So I'm able to learn and have fun with friends at the same time. Because it's like a lot different and harder than everything else. To be patient and not give up with yourself and like just have confidence as you go on. Having to work together because you can't do it all by yourself. Being able to create music around everyone, like with everyone. We get to do things together. Make new friends and work as a team. Meeting new friends. And the feel of it, I love hanging out with the friends, with my friends and just playing in there with them. It's, it's a judge-free zone. It looks like another family. I like jazzing with the saxophone and I like playing as a team. And I love learning a lot of things. It just like leaves school on a positive note. I just really like seeing them every single day. As I look forward to going to it every day. I get to end my day by playing clarinet, so yeah. Recording the concert, I realized how much I learned and I wanted to say thanks to my mom and dad. My family is like, very musical. Thank you to my mom and my brother for supporting me. Thank you mother and father for supporting me in band and paying for all the stuff I have and all the equipment. I'd like to thank my parents for buying the horn. And all of that is thanks to my mom. And I just wanted to say thanks to my family and my mom. Thank you to my mom and my sister. Thank you mom and dad. We wouldn't be here without the support of our parents and family. Thank you for supporting our music making. Please enjoy the sixth grade's final selection, a traditional Mexican folk song, La Bamba. Summer quickly approaching, it's time to think about instrument maintenance. Summer is a great time to send your instrument into the repair shop for a fine tuning. If you're renting your instrument, there are typically warranties and repair plans that make the service more affordable or even free. Summer is also a great time to stock up on supplies such as reeds, valve oil, and other cleaning supplies. Heights has a great working relationship with both Palin Music Center and Music and Arts. Next up, we have the 7th grade band. They will begin their portion of the concert with a piece called Fanfare for the 16th Empire by Rondal Standridge. It uses 16th notes in a scale pattern as the basis for this melody. Enjoy Fanfare!
The seventh grade band recently submitted Fanfare and our next piece, Lost Woods Fantasy, to the St. Louis Suburban Virtual Festival. We received a two excellent rating on our performance. We are really proud of our piece and our first performance. Lost Woods Fantasy follows a young group of friends in search of an adventure in a nearby forest late at night. Once inside the forest, the trees around them begin to stretch and seal off the entrance. Trapped inside, they must find a way out. So our final piece for 7th grade was supposed to be performed at last year's Parade of Band concert, which was scheduled right when the world exploded. We were so excited to dust it back off to record for our virtual concert. Even though the last 14 months have been strange, we still have plenty of things to be grateful for, including making music. I like how band is like a big family because I actually get to use my fingers instead of staring at my screen all day. I get to like make stuff, like music. I like making music. Because I get to learn new songs with my peers, play music with other people. I can play with my friends and make music with them. And I get to be with my friends and play my favorite instrument. The sort of connection we get with uh, all the teachers at once. Because I like performing music in front of other people. So I can perform for different people in my family. And it's nice playing the French horn because it's a unique instrument and not many people play it. Most pieces, the trumpet is the main melody. I get to be in the bass line. Because I have a very important role in the band. Percussion has a wide variety of percussion instruments. And I get to learn them all. Many people has the talents to play what I can play and I like the music. It's because it gives you that feel and totally concentrated on one thing or another. With the spirit of friendship, here's our last piece for seventh grade, All For One and One For All by Carol Britton Chambers.
like this quirky school year, we have had so many band students put themselves out there and go the extra mile. We had six students who earned seats in the All Suburban Honor Band, which is a Heights record. We would like to congratulate seventh graders Zoe Click and Jude Bedoy, and eighth graders Adam Reddy, Janani Kamalakanan, Gabby Hurd, and Emily Durhaki. We also had dozens of students submit entries for solo and ensemble contest. Everybody received one of the top three scores, superior, excellent, or good. It takes a lot of time and work to practice a solo and ensemble and submit it for contest, and simply making the effort is a huge accomplishment. Congratulations to all of our students on their performances. Our final band tonight is our eighth grade band. As we reach the end of our middle school band journey, we want to take a moment to say thank you to all who helped make it possible. A band program truly makes a village. Thank you to our families. Thank you so much, Dr. Mosier. Thank you, Dr. Houston. Thank you, Ms. Bemke. Thank you, Ms. Antrobus. You were really cool. Thank you so much, Ms. Lancaster. Thank you so much, Ms. Osman. And thank you to all our amazing office staff. Thank you to our awesome custodial staff. Our first piece for eighth grade is Celtic Air and Dance, drawing on the rich and varied traditions of Celtic folk songs. You'll hear both gorgeous melodies and dance-like jigs. Please enjoy Celtic Air and Dance by Michael Sweeney. <laughs> Thank you. 
grade band recently submitted Celtic Air and Dance and our next piece, Korean Folk Rhapsody, to the St. Louis Suburban Virtual Festival. We received a 2, excellent rating on our performance. We learned a lot about the recording process. Thanks to Mr. McFarland at the high school for loaning us recording equipment this year, and thanks to Dr. Mosher and Ms. Harder for helping us to buy our own Heights recording equipment for future recordings. Please enjoy our next piece, Korean Folk Rhapsody, arranged by James Cornell. And now for our final middle school band performance ever. The eighth grade band will go out with a lively and catchy piece called Byzantine Dancers by Carol Britton Chambers.
18 to 19, making their debut. They will now perform for you. No talent. I know what I thought, but then I thought this is horrible. I should. band memory was being down in sixth grade in Miss White's room. Like the first few days of sixth grade when we first learned how to put like the instruments together. The Parade of Bands concerts. Parade of Bands concert. When we played Everything is Awesome in sixth grade. In sixth grade on the last couple of days of school we were just all in the band and like sitting down laughing and having like a great time. We had our phones out and stuff and we all took pictures. Like I still have pictures like hanging on my wall. That was a really great day. Uh, in seventh grade we would like do band club and we would get to play the eighth grader songs and that was fun. And we would get together and play music. So my favorite band memory is from seventh grade when we went to the buffet and then went to the contest and we got a one and then we spent the whole day together. It was really fun. It was my favorite. When we got a one in our seventh grade competition. The contest at where we got a one. Hearing that we received a one rating at the contest last year. It is everyone's reactions when we found out what our rating was for the contest. <laughs> It was just really fun. Everybody was laughing and stuff. My favorite memory of band is going to Golden Corral before the lunch ensemble contest. My favorite band memory is when we went to Golden Corral for the Summer Creek concert. We went to the buffet. He's going to Golden Corral. He was going to Golden Corral. He was going to Golden Corral and eating dessert. Was going to Golden Corral and hanging out with my friends. When I met like everyone at the buffet because I was new and it was fun to get to know everyone. In seventh grade, we went to Golden Corral for our like competition thing, and the people I was sitting with, one of them took ketchup and put it in uh, mashed potatoes, uh, and then they kind of just mixed it together and let it sit there for a while. So my favorite fan memory was the time when John said, "Is it Walker?" Uh, my favorite band memory was Walgreens. It was Walgreens. It's an inside joke. You had to be there. One thing I love about band is making friends and being in a class that's really engaging. My favorite band memory is just all the fun songs that we get to play in band and how much fun we have every single day. When we first prepare for a concert piece and come together as an ensemble and play it all together. Overall, this virtual band program was really cool for me. My favorite memory about band would be this year, because a lot of students are virtual or in person, but we were still able to find a way to make music together. All of band is very special.
Yep, that ought to do it.